big update guys so remember I reported this story actually twice initially when it happened and I put the update I put the other video was said update for Dominic Powell and Rico Hicks well Meg Heap the district attorney for Chatham County is now seeking the death penalty for all the four members that was associated with Dominic Powell's death back in September of this year now Arthur Newton, Artez Strain, Timothy Coleman, and Tyreek Walker, they were arrested in November, and they're indicted on a like numerous of charges, including murder, malice murder. Now, a lot of people are happy about it. I've seen people's comments on WTOC's Facebook because they posted this on Facebook, and a lot of people are happy about it that they're just saying you know they're just taking out the trash I'm gonna just post some comments that you can see well how I feel about it I don't give a fuck about gang members I, I don't however when you think about the death penalty you usually think about a murderer that's killed multiple people also with the death penalty you can also get the death penalty for rape you can get the death penalty for hijacking the plane, you can get the death penalty for treason. Um, you get death penalty for those things. So you, usually, when you think about death penalty, you think about somebody that's killed more than one person. Also, you can get the death penalty for killing any government official, police officer, peace officer. Uh, I mean, firefighter. You can get the death penalty for just killing any type of uh, government official. However. The death penalty has been on the decline recently and I'm reading this off of the Georgia government website and what they're saying is in some cases the defendants lawyer uh, actually stopped the process of the death penalty because some, in most cases they'll try to reach out to the prosecutor and they'll try to present reasons to decapitalize the case in most cases the prosecutors agree as long as they give them like a life sentence without parole usually and prosecutors agreed to drop the death penalty in 29 of the capital punishment cases this year and also the only capital case that went to trial with the death penalty as an option was a case in which the defendant represented himself and the jury handed down a life without parole and in 2014, only one of the state's 19 potential capital cases ended in a death sentence. And only one of its last 71 capital cases, the capital defender has handled, has resulted in a death verdict. So that being said, me personally, I don't think that the death penalty would stick for these people. And also, I mean, I just feel like if Meg Heap just gives these guys, I mean, three life sentences without parole, uh, just let them rot in jail, how I feel. I, even though if you kill somebody, I just feel like you should die too. However, in this case, I just don't feel like the death penalty would happen. Now, however, I see what Meg Heap is doing because what she's doing is she's putting out a message and the message is so clear it's like if you're in the gang in savannah you better think twice because what she's doing is if she's putting out a message is that if you in the gang and you're going to shoot somebody and kill somebody we're going to throw the book at you we're going to throw the whole book at you and we're going to make sure that you're going to rot in jail or die from it so um I feel like that's a little message that she's putting out to the gang members in Savannah because I mean there are a, a good bit of people that's in the gang I mean whether they in the blood gang crip gang waters Ave, hitch village I mean whatever you are you better think twice before you kill somebody because what Meg Heap is doing I mean she's a, a really good district attorney she's probably one of the best district attorneys I mean I've ever seen I mean she's prosecuted a lot of high-profile cases in Savannah and in Chatham County and she rarely loses I'll tell you that much and if you're wondering the demographics of people that's on death row 
uh, majority of it is all male and when you're talking about Georgia majority of the people that's in death row are 80% white 10% of those are black people actually when I was looking at the list I probably seen maybe two black people that was on the death row list and also Hispanic actually have a 10% uh, part in this I, I only seen like two Hispanic people that was on the death row list now if Meg he actually gets the death penalty to stick for all four of these guys I mean that would be a good thing too uh, maybe it won't land on all four of these guys and maybe it just land on one or two people but pretty sure they're gonna be spending the rest of their lives in jail and um, actually what I want to say to the Powell family I know I, I know um, one of the sisters of Dominique Powell actually watched the videos that I posted earlier about the updates and what I want to say to her and to her family is uh, I, I hope that this is the answer that your family is looking for and I just hope that um, everything goes out in your family's favor and I'm sorry for your loss too uh, for Dominique Powell I actually know somebody that knew him one of my other friends by the name of Bird so let this be a message to all of the gang members in Savannah or potential people that want to be in the gang just know if you want to you down the ride to kill somebody Meg Heap is down to put an execution date on you so just let that be a message you know you better think twice you better think twice and uh, rest in peace to Dominique Powell but that's all I just want to talk about in this video but it's Pac-Man Jones with Savannah Seaport News and I'm out